Hey guys, Eddie Case down on another basement. Hey, I brought the camera down today to uh, just keep giving you more ideas to show you some of the framing techniques that we use today. Uh, today's video is going to be about the poles that were in this basement, support poles. All right, uh, I'm going to show you, I think, four examples on this job uh, on how I framed around the columns. Uh, but first, how I how I put them into my design. I'm panning down here onto my computer image that I did in my in my uh, office, and you can see we had a column right here. That's that half wall. There was column number one, and then over here in this long stairway wall is column number two and three. And out here in this closet, which was the last thing that I showed you, we had column number four right there in the wall, in the closet wall. All right, so I knew before I ever got down here and plugged in the radio and the saw and put the tool belt on, that my four columns, one, two, three, and four, were gonna be hidden in the manners that I just showed you. All right, I didn't just come down here put my tool belt on and start framing and guessing. I knew before I began framing anything on this project down here exactly where those columns behind me were going. All right, the framing comes after the design. So when I was working up my design, I took detailed measurements of the locations of these four columns and then I worked those locations into my into my into my floor plan. So, okay, so you can see at the base of the stairs here, we had a column that was offset from the stairs about three feet. Uh, we did the half wall trick where we came off the exterior wall straight across about nine feet to a, uh, a three inch support column. And you can see that uh, that's going to be nicely tucked away there on the end of a half wall, which kind of makes it look like the column really wasn't just that floating out in the middle of space. Um, it makes a nice backer for furniture, the half wall, they're going to put a couch there. And uh, the way that we actually fastened our lumber to the column We've got a two by four wall here. You see one of the holes here. We used our ram set with just standard two and a half inch ram set pins and we shot it about every two foot the whole way down the column. I'm gonna come around the side here. You can see that that column is squeezed in between two two by fours. Now, our column was very plumb, straight up and down, both ways, all right? From the side and front to back. You can see how that pole just disappears inside those two by fours, all right? Two by fours are three and a half inches wide. The column is actually three inches. And because our column was nice and plumb, we were able to just shoot the two by fours right to that column, right up and underneath the beam. And there's column number one there. Uh, that was the one that was sitting out in, uh, in the middle of nowhere at the base of the stairs that we connected the half wall to, which is gonna be a couch wall here. I'm going to spin the camera around here with my back to that half wall. We've got our TV viewing wall right there. You can see it's wired for a TV up on the wall there. All right, so we hit that column at the end of a half wall. All right, now the other three columns, real simple, we hit them in walls. Here's column number two right here. And you can see that we just have the three-inch support column inside the wall. We shot a two by four up both sides. If I pan the camera around the side here, you can see that that column just disappears into the two by four wall. And we'll come on down here and you'll see another column right here, again, inside that same wall. We shot a two by four up both sides. We did that first and then we built our walls in to those two two by fours. So we fastened these first and then we built our walls into these and then we tied the two together, okay? And that's how we hit away that particular column. All right, then the other two columns that were in the stairway wall are hidden between, uh, one of them's hidden between these two doors right inside the wall. And we step back into this, what will become a music room here and look back on it. Uh, the other one is about right there inside that wall as well. And let's step back out here into the main living area. 
And we'll show you here that uh, we have a little closet wall right here. It's about 10 feet long. And right there in the middle of that closet wall is column number four. And from floor to ceiling, we did the same thing. We put that three inch column inside this closet wall. They fit in there perfectly. And remember, the columns are generally going to be three inches wide. A two by four is three and a half inches. So you got about a quarter of an inch to play with on both sides when you build your wall up each side of the steel column to hide it. And then the final column is out here in this closet wall, which is right about right about there, right about two feet to the right side of that outlet is the other column. So we hid three of them in the walls and one of them in the half wall. Four different columns that were just sticking up out of the floor when we got here in the empty basement. We had to figure out a way when we got our graph paper out, or if that's the way you're going to design yours with a pencil and a, and a ruler, you're going to draw it out. Or uh, if you're entering your coordinates into a design software like I use, you have to know those exact locations of those columns. But my favorite way of hiding them has got to be the, the column uh, that borders a, uh, a half wall that's connected to an exterior wall. That's, I think that's the most clever way to hide them and uh, you're, you're always making nice, uh, generally making nice furniture backing half wall when you do that if you work it into your plan correctly. All right, so that's several more ways in which you can hide columns. Uh, either hide them in the walls, you can do the half wall trick, uh, which again is my favorite way of hiding them. Um, I don't think there's a better way to do it, but of course you've got to work that into your plan. All right, when you're designing your basement, that's the very first stage of basement finishing. Get out some paper, get out your tape measure, and figure out a, uh, a good design and a good floor plan where you can incorporate those columns into walls or half walls. I'm Eddie Case. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube Basement Finishing Man channel, please do. i got a lot more good basement ideas and videos coming your way. See you in the next video.